Is this Black Series figure a uh, yes, 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 or a no, no, no? Let's find out. Prepare for launch. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Luna Figs, coming to you once again from the Nerd Den, located high atop Luna Base. And today we are taking a closer look at the new Black Series IG-12. Let's get into it. We'll start off by taking a look at the packaging here. Got our standard Black Series. This is a deluxe figure, so a slightly oversized box. Number 41 in the line. Got the orange Mandalorian coloring, IG-12, and Grogu. Don't forget Grogu there. Got a couple of Anzellans as well, so that's pretty cool. Check out the back of the box. Got some nice artwork there. Little description. Got more artwork on the side. Pretty cool. Nothing on top. Boring stuff on the bottom. But enough about the box. Let's check out the figure. Okay, we have IG-12 out of the packaging. Let's start off by checking out the Anzellans. These are pretty nice little figures. Uh, actually have some articulation to them. Head uh, swivels around, goes up and down a little bit. Uh, does have a unique head sculpt. The arms are on ball joints, so those move around. Uh, has a little bit of a waist swivel as well. Uh, the legs, yeah, they move as well. So yeah, <laughs> quite a bit of articulation for such a little figure. And as I said, they are unique from each other. So they have different head sculpts. Uh, this guy has like a little hose or something wrapped around his neck there. This guy has a couple of extra pouches on. And uh, some different paint applications. So yeah, pretty nice. Then we have a Grogu here. Uh, <laughs> nowhere near as much articulation got arms uh yeah they just kind of pivot there i don't even think they're on ball joints so they look like they just kind of go up and down the arms swivel a little bit and then the head is on a ball joint ears are kind of soft so yeah standard grogu does have feet but they just kind of swivel no roll movement there so yeah Another Grogu for the collection. <laughs> but let's get to IG-12. Very nice looking figure. Like the sculpt work and the paint. Uh, nice paint applications like the colors. Kind of the coppery red here. These tan accents all over. Even got paint on the back. Got little hoses running everywhere. Down the legs. And uh, when you... We'll get to the articulation. These do get out of the way nicely, so no worries there. The head spins in multiple spots. Uh, no up and down on those, just rotates. Uh, the arm does go off to the sides. Very nice T-pose. It's a ball joint there. Uh, let's see, does the shoulder rotate? Yeah, the shoulder rotates around. So that's nice. Then you got a ball joint that allows this to rotate at the top. Then the arm rotates again at the top of the elbow. And uh, we do have the solid plastic pieces for the elbows and the knees. So they got rid of the little rubbery overlays. Kind of glad they did that. I have a feeling those rubber pieces were probably going to degrade after a while. Uh, we go down the wrist swivels. Uh, pretty basic, just kind of a clamp down here. Got one appendage there, and then these two kind of work together as well. Uh, if you want to put Grogu in, you just pop that open and stick Grogu inside. And then close it back up. Fits in nicely. Uh, we do have a waist swivel right there. Uh, the leg kicks forward nicely and back nicely. Does kind of kick off a little bit to the side when going forward. Uh, the side kick, not much there. <laughs> uh, we do have a thigh cut up at the top there, covered by this little armor piece here. 
and it also swivels again at the top of the knee. Uh, as I said, hard plastic for the knee joints now. And the hoses do get out of the way. It is just a single joint, but still gets up pretty nicely. Uh, then we go down to the feet. They rotate at the ankle. Just a little bit of pivot, not a ton. And then they articulate back and forth. Again, not a ton. And uh, try not to get too crazy with it because some of the joints are really thin on this. So uh, do be careful with that. But yeah, all in all, pretty nice figure. I'm, I'm uh, impressed with the look of it. I uh, do have a Mando over here. I wanted to do a little size comparison. So, uh, yeah, right there. Mando comes to just above ID-12 shoulder. I think that might still be a hair short, but not by too much. Maybe just a real world six inches or so, because I think it's supposed to be more along the lines of he comes up to IG-12 shoulder. But definitely an improvement. I don't have my IG-11 anymore, unfortunately, so I can't do a comparison. But I did want to compare it to Mando. So it is definitely bigger, but I don't think it's still quite big enough. But it's definitely an improvement. But uh, yeah, all in all, not too bad. I'm going to get it posed up and uh, give you my final thoughts. All right, that is it for this closer look at IG-12. Pretty nice little figure. I think I did forget to mention that uh, the little controllers in there do articulate as well. So one more point of articulation, I guess technically two. There's two controls. <laughs> so yeah, very nice looking figure. Uh, definitely an upgrade to the original IG-11. Uh, really glad they replaced the rubber overlays with just some straight uh, plastic pieces. I think that does just fine. Uh, decent articulation, uh, scales much better to uh, the rest of the Black Series line. Uh, you got a, another Grogu, a couple of cute little Anzellans. So yeah, not gonna complain about that at all. Uh, $33 and some change. It's a deluxe figure, kind of a unique sculpt, so not a whole lot of extra stuff they can do with it. Hopefully, maybe they go back do another uh, IG-11, maybe do the IG-11 Marshall version. All it would take would probably be a uh, new torso piece and a new paint job, look really nice. Who knows, maybe they can even go back and do a larger IG-88. That would be nice. So all in all, pretty nice figure. I'm very happy with it. Uh, let me know if you picked up IG-12 or if you're planning to. Uh, you know me, I'm a sucker for droids. Uh, it had to happen eventually. Uh, glad I found this at Walmart. Uh, I think it's on Amazon as well. So it's pretty pretty regularly available if you are interested in picking it up. Uh, but that is all I have for today. If you are new here, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. And I will see you guys next time around.